Hi, I'm Ted Orr, uh, Senior Director for the Americas Professional Services. I'm joined today by John Steiner, our Chief Architect. We're here to discuss Software Defined Data Center. So John, Software Defined Data Center, SDDC, is all over the press and papers. Um, can you share with us what Software Defined Data Center truly means? Sure, sure. You know, a lot of people, when they think about Software Defined Data Centers, don't take into consideration the broad spectrum of what that entails. Um, SDDC isn't simply virtualization, it isn't simply networking or storage. There's other components within Software Defined Data Center you also have to take into account. For example, what is my disaster recovery and, and uh, BCDR um, solution? Um, how does security and compliance fall into line with this? How's my management infrastructure in place? And really to accomplish full, pure, and I guess at its most purest level, Software Defined Data Center, I have to assure that I have software definitions around every component of my data center that is necessary to assure seamless, dynamic provisioning of whatever resources requested by my end users. Great. But what's, what's different from what customers can do today, right? So they have hardware um, assets, they provision uh, virtual machines on the physical hardware. Um, and we've been talking quite a bit about cloud. So how is SDDC the same or different than those paradigms? Uh, I'm quoting other people, but uh, I've often heard, and I, I say it myself quite often, that SDDC is cloud done right. right? So if you think about the tenants of cloud, um, you want to have metering, you want to have self-service, you need auto provisioning. Uh, you need to be able to, if you think of an iPhone app, I can go to an app store, I can download what I need, and I can get it immediately, or nearly immediately. And there's nothing that has to happen behind the scenes to make that happen. It's all dynamic and it's all based on my requirements. So when we think about customers and where they are today versus where they need to get to or where SDDC can get them, is that today you absolutely can dynamically provision multiple types of virtual machines, multiple types of application servers. But what we found is, you know, in the first stage of virtualization, in the first part of the journey, so to speak, our customers were able to dramatically reduce server provisioning time. 30, 60, 90 days to order a physical machine, bring it in the data center, install it, set up, and run. Now we take that down to two minutes, maybe even less. That's fantastic. The problem is that there's still many components associated with the deployment of that system that have to be put in place to make it live. So when we ask customers, you know, how has virtualization uh, improved or changed your time to market, they'll say, well, great, we, we have now gone from six months or six weeks or four weeks down to 10 days. And so the obvious question is, 10 days, how can it be 10 days when you can do this in two minutes? Well, they say, well, I still have got to get my networking set up. I have firewall rules. I have security and compliance. I might have HIPAA requirements for some other form of um, regulatory compliance I have to look at. Is my storage in the right section? Do I need fast storage? Do I, can I use big, slow storage? Um, I can go on and on down the list, but the bottom line is there are a lot of components that still have to go into the provisioning of a system that are way beyond simple provisioning of a virtual machine. Mm -hmm.